Cześć, siemaneczko, witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie z tej strony, nie inny jak Bartu, zapraszam na kolejny materiał. Dokończymy sobie zadanie dobór nienaturalny. Ja tutaj zbieram informacje na temat Aloysa, żebyśmy odblokowali tą właściwą opcję dialogową. Pogadamy z córką. Co ona tak wstaje dziwacznie? No, co jest? Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Dr. Reed. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh, no. Most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. No, mam informację. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. <coughs> With the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. Mr. Nithicate used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this camellia may be. Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother <coughs> always told me how strong <coughs> and good he was. <coughs> Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Doctor Reed. <coughs> Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. <laughs> no husband would like a clumsy girl like me. No, but this is the most important thing. Have you ever met the famous <coughs> Aloysius Dawson? Yes, a very strange man, not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books, and then laughed at what we showed him. Uh -huh. Do you need my medic? No, I I'm all right, Mr. Reed. Goodbye, Carol. Dobra, tutaj nam nowa opcja dialogowa się chyba pojawiła. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Miss. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end, for they know no one else will love them as much. Do you need my? Oh no, I'm fine. Goodbye for. Dobra. Kolejne. Doctor Reed. It's locked. Kolejne dwie osoby zaliczone. Że tak powiem brzydko. Musimy odnaleźć tych dwóch braci. Czekajcie, jak to nasza sytuacja wygląda na tym drzewku? Odzyskuje zdrowy ból głowy. Z tym gadałem, z tym jeszcze nie gadałem. Podobnie całkiem, nie tylko bez krawata. A, tu jest ten cały, no, e, Arab. Co to za przejście? Aha, bo już tutaj przyszli stąd. 
dobra, chyba tak. Co, pozostaje nam pogadanie z tym... A tak, tu wykonaliśmy sobie to przejście. Tu idzie ten grostek. O, jest. Z tym nie gadałem jeszcze. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature, scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. <coughs> Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Oh, mamy kolejną wskazówkę. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing. And for what reason? But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Eh, uh, dobra. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well... I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. Masło maślane. Do you need my no? Dobra. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Tutaj się nam jeszcze pojawiła chyba jedna ścieżka dialogowa. Hello again, Dr. Reed. O, jednak się nam nie pojawiła. Dobra. Goodbye. Eee, czas odszukać teraz wejście do, do rezydencji, ale tutaj mamy jeszcze jednego NPC-a, z którym muszę pogadać. Dokładnie chodzi mi o tego Araba. Szmato, szmato głowy, że tak powiem. Można go tak nazwać, bo ma turban na głowie. Tylko nie wiem, od czego są te płyty tutaj. Może nam coś powie na temat... 
Najpierw bym go chciał zabić. Zbrodnia utraty wiedzy. Wampiry są niebezpieczne, śmiertelne, nierzadko okrutne. To fakt, któremu nie będę zaprzeczać i właśnie dlatego musimy pojąć czym, a czasami kim są i doprowadzić do lepszego obupolnego zrozumienia. Jonathan Reed, at last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me? You're a... Poor fortune teller, then. <laughs> oh, I can tell you many things, but they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities, and they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed, even to immortals. Mm -hmm. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Oh, cool. The parchment. Here is the money. The alchemist. A wise and cunning mind who lives by lying to all but himself. He sells false promises and is proud of it. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> Can you read the... Put the money on the table that... Perhaps later. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. I would rather not know. How do you measure the amount of blood? I told you. Is it a vampire? All right. Let me hear it. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus-pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. 
Mary did not deserve her fate. She had already suffered enough during her life. And yet the pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. Pain will never stop. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Dobra, jeszcze niech nam powie, co wie na temat Aloysa. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Dobra, kolejna wskazówka. Super. To powinno wystarczyć. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Uda się zdrowie. Dobra. Bierzmy się za zadanie. A, on też nam tutaj e, ten szmat głowy dał chyba zadanie jedną. <śmiech> Puszka Pandory to jest chyba jedno z ważniejszych zadań pobocznych. Nie wiem, czy nam się to uda wykonać, natomiast ja muszę odszukać wejście do tego cholernego domu. Ja pierdzielę. I cannot enter. Czy to nie jest czasem tutaj? No wszystko fajnie, tylko nam teraz... Tu jest kryjówka, gdzie ja znajdę kurde wejście? Ja pierdzielę. Tu? Nie tu. Ja pierdziu. A, tutaj mamy, dobra, mamy. Mamy to, czego szukam, dobra, super. W końcu mi się udało znaleźć tą kryjówkę. Ja pierdziu. Jeszcze tutaj zbadajmy obszar. A tu chyba nie ma nic. Dobra. Wykończmy to zadanie. Nowa rezydencja. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? No właśnie. Mam tutaj dylemat, co z nim zrobić. Ale chyba mamy te informacje, które nam pozwolą na wybranie tej takiej najwłaściwszej opcji dialogowej. Szukam tutaj jakichś 
znajdzie jakichś sekretów czy coś w tym stylu jakiś wskazówek o, artykuł prasowy co to jest? egzekucja Johna Franciska Sparrowa Okay. Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. It's locked, all right. Oh, tutaj gdybyśmy go zabili, otrzymamy prawdopodobnie klucz. Byśmy mogli ten safe otworzyć. Zwróć uwagę, że mamy 10 tysięcy punktów doświadczenia. Wiem, że to nie jest bardzo dużo, ale. O, kolejny safe. It's locked, all right. Dobra, on tu chyba na nas czeka już. <coughs> Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts <coughs> to access your mansion, sir. <coughs> Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. <coughs> Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. <laughs> sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold, so cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. What do you know about the Guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. <laughs> Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. 
This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Okay, już wystarczająco widzę. Wiemy. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right. Do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Możemy gościa przemienić. Stracisz 2000 punktów doświadczenia, uczynię z ciebie wampira, wysi krew i zabijecie. Gdy wybierzemy tą opcję dialogową i tą, wylecimy z klubu Ascalon. Natomiast gdy go przemienimy, nadal w nim pozostaniemy. Ale tutaj ja sobie zahipnotyzuję typa. Słuchaj do mnie, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man, so I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius, the tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer, and I understand. No more fear. I will die a man of dignity, and a man at. Czyżby zmarł? Fu, fu, fu. Poziom hipnotyzmu. Nowi mieszkańcy dostępni do zabicia. <śmiech> Dobra. <śmiech> Wykonaliśmy sobie do końca to zadanie. W końcu. It's locked. Niestety nie jestem w stanie otworzyć tego. Ja już nie mogę gadać. Aha, bo on się później przemieni. W zasadzie to możemy ten budynek opuścić. Kręcę się jak głupi w kółko. Idziemy złożyć relację Lordowi. Nie będzie zadowolony. Niestety. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful icon he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. Oh, cool, there. Od mnie czeginiesz? Co tu się stało? Spontanna życia. Popytaj mieszkańców West Endu o Aloisa Dawsona. 
spontanna życia. Dobra, misja wykonana w tym momencie. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friend and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again. You or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Zwróć uwagę, że ktoś ma 20 poziom hipnotyzmu. Nie jestem w stanie go tutaj w żaden sposób zahipnotyzować. Tutaj wszystko żeśmy zebrali, możemy stąd wychodzić de facto. Misja Fontanna Życia została wykonana. Bardzo króciutka misja. O, a to kto to jest? Stara Bridget. A skąd ona się tu wzięła? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Echo. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ash? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers, just as you did. <laughs> what kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? <laughs> Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend. And that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Akon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. Ooh. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths truths I have kept hidden for so long. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes. That my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Huh. Że ją kocham? A w sumie to. Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. 
Dobra, a czekać ona nie potrzebuje leczenia czasem? Uda się do szpitala Pambrek. Moi drodzy, to zadanie oczywiście wykonamy w następnym odcinku. Natomiast ja tutaj chcę odszukać jedną postać. Bo nam się tutaj udało w domu tego starca odszukać jedną wskazówkę. O, właśnie jest. Czego nam ucieka? Siadaj i mów. Co wiesz? Is it true you were dropped in rank? Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. The death penalty is not an efficient deterrent. I sometimes think it pushes criminals to more violence, since they know they have nothing to lose. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Ooh. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life. Not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. What are you inventing? Mr. Kimura has been murdered. Always the same injuries. Wounds to the neck and massive blood loss. Goodbye. De Goodbye. Pięćdziesięcy ah. punktów doświadczenia. 11 tysięcy mamy w swoim ekwipunku. Eee, czekacie, wiecie co moi drodzy, chyba już sobie tutaj skończymy ten odcinek. Mamy tutaj jeszcze tą misję Puszka Pandory. Niedaleko pada jabłko diabłoni. A, to mamy misję wykonaną. Ślepy jestem. Ja to bym sobie tą misję zaznaczył. A znajdź notatnik Ashera Taltrita skradziony przez agentów stróżów Priven. Ok, to tyle w tym materiale. Ten odcinek będzie troszkę krótszy niż pozostałe, ale nie będziemy tu już rozpoczynać żadnych kolejnych wątków. Eee, wykonamy sobie puszkę Pandory w następnym materiale. Jest to eee, dosyć eee, ważny quest, istotny, dlatego że on e, pozwala nam na odblokowanie legendarnego wyposażenia legendarnej konkretnie broni, która zadaje e, bagatelat jak się nie mylę, chyba 500 obrażeń, ale broni jako broń jednoręczna. Więc całkiem sporo. Żeby to uczynić, to musimy między innymi zdobyć wszystkie te tutaj e, dokumenty wiedzy. Ale to sobie jeszcze też wykonamy w jakimś materiale. Mam nadzieję, że dotrwaliście do końca ze mną, że film Wam się podobał, chociaż dużo gadaliśmy, ale gra pchnięta została do przodu. Wykonaliśmy kolejną misję fabularną. Dzięki za wspólną grę. Cześć!